Hey y'all! Oh my god, I'm feeling high. I'm feeling high. I'm feeling high. Look, man. Look. The where's the book? Breaking the habit of being yourself and the meditation that's attached to it is life changing for me. Like I have never like meditated on this level before. I'm gonna keep talking about this meditation because it is the catalyst to everything, and I'm seeing so much evidence in my life, y'all. So the date is March thirty first. Before I go on, I must give love to Selena Kitania. It was this day that she taken from us in 1895. I always remember this day. It's always going to be the day that um, Selena passed. And um, I love you so much, Selena Kitania. Uh, anyway, so y'all, like, it's crazy what happens when you commit to change when you commit to i don't know how but i'm going to stop being this person because it's never about outside sir it's never about for real outside shit is just to get your attention about what's going on on the inside so if you're sick you you know going through some money stuff you're going through some relationship stuff you're going through health stuff it's all like it's trying to bring you inward that is the fact. That's what you need to get from watching these video diaries is that everything is meant to grow you if you understand what's going on. And I just know I empathize. You should know I empathize because y'all been watching me. And all of my million subscribers, thank you to my million subscribers, my millions of advertising dollars, my sponsors for this video. Thanks for my millions of views. Thank you for this YouTube channel just blowing up and turning into movies and everything like that because that's what's happening for me. Thank you for my man for loving me through it all. Anyway, so the whole thing, y'all, is I understand how deceiving and how convincing reality is, and it feels like you cannot change, and it's set up that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you understand, get the book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. He breaks down exactly why you struggle to change, and I was in that. Y'all have been watching. I have been... I can't be no more transparent. <laughs> you know, y'all know me better than the people in my life. People in my life know me, sure, but these details you know are just something else you know y'all are getting more of that than the people all right so y'all should be just because they're busy and shit you know y'all just you know doing this but it's like what is this a week ago yesterday oh my god i, I don't remember so y'all i am on some radical shit i'm on some radical shit like i want to completely forget my ex like that's what i've been working on completely forgetting him that he existed the only thing i want to remember is the wisdoms keep the rest like money it's just like getting you a good old piece of meat and cutting the fat off and, 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 and getting the good part you know what i'm saying you know, i like a little fat but it's not the point to be the analogy so you know i don't need to remember anything i don't need to remember you and oh i forgot about that i literally forgot about him oh oh hey i forgot like i, I that's where i'm going with it so y'all i don't even know where to start so yesterday was fucking amazing the day before that was good yesterday was even better and i don't even know what the fuck to expect for today but i know it's going to be even better and better yesterday was my best day in a long time number one the emotionally but before i get to any physical manifestations anything like that that is so secondary because it just doesn't matter because when you are feeling like shit it doesn't matter what you get you can get money you can get the man or whatever you hey i care about emotion so emotionally i've been feeling so much better and this has only been day i think it's day eight of that meditation day eight my nigga but my determination has been so fierce because i knew i needed to change i could not keep doing this thing that i'm doing this is me like this is what happens when you own your shit if you own your shit you can change your shit if somebody else owns it well, good luck finding them motherfuckers, see if they in the mood to change, see if they feel like doing it right now. It's just too much. It's not even how life works. Okay, so, y'all, like, <sighs> so yesterday was so amazing. I did my meditation. Uh, I made a video. I just didn't post this weird. These videos, I don't know why I, I didn't, my, my, the video was weird, so I didn't post it yet. So, keep these in order. I may post that or I may post this, I don't know. But I just know yesterday was March 30th uh talking to uh the, the the france nigga so the whole thing is like i was just it was just and these men were just speaking my language both of them were like saying all of the shit i needed to hear and i got horny i was really horny for the first time you know when you vibrating low your hormones i don't really get horny like when i'm vibrating low like because that 
organic, ooh, sensual feeling of like feeling sexy and feeling horny is just such a high vibration that I don't really, I hadn't really felt in a long time, like genuinely aroused by a man's conversation and what he's saying. And I had that too. It's like, oh my God, it's all this, all this male attention. Oh my God. And then I got a bunch of phone sex calls yesterday. And then I made it a post on Facebook that got a lot of attention, got more, more people interested in my phone sex courses. Then it went viral on TikTok. My nigga, like, it's like so many things that are going on that are indicative to what I want. Oh my God. Like, I just love it. Like, I really fucking love life like life is feeling really good like i'm excited about going home i'm excited about every fucking thing i'm waking up laughing and i don't even know why i'm laughing y'all this did not even seem possible for me to experience last week or whatever week that was or, or whenever i was crying and acting a fool like these meditations are like getting more and more powerful like they are getting really powerful they, they they it's just like every day is a new adventure every day is like what am i going to experience in there it's like i don't know if y'all have experienced this but have you ever experienced okay you've always been taking a nap but if you can remember it is an energetic time when you are conscious and slipping into that unconscious feeling and it's like that middle that middle ground that feels oh euphoric it's a euphoric feeling that comes along when you are dozing off and you can't help yourself, but it is, it, it, but you're still aware. Oh, because you know, when you sleep, when you die, you re-emerge and back into non-physical. So it's like, that's how these meditations are feeling. It feels so euphoric in here. So I had my little girl was interested in my meditation today. My little girl was not really needing me that much today. Like she was like, like, you know, you know, in these meditations, you know, I've been really working on my little girl, my relationship with her, attending to her. So I always go in and, and check in with my little girl. And today she was running around being playful, being goofy and really not really paying me no mind. Like I had like normally when I get into the meditation, she's like clinging on to my to my um to my leg and looking up all needy like, you know, but today she was like not even. Think about me. She was running around playing. I'm like, oh, well, there you are. Do you need me today? She was like, hey, hug, kiss. Went out playing. Like, she was just like, she was all free and happy. And she wasn't like, she was just like appreciative of like all the energy I've been giving her over the past week. And she wasn't like in no fragile state. But I'm waking up my beast. So it's a it's an entity tied inside of me called the beautiful beast. And that's who she's she gonna go get the money, she's gonna get the niggas, everything. So I'm really so more and more of my meditations, I'm getting into my money and my financial abundance and like publishing this book and really like building the YouTube and really like having the career and, and, and that I want, which of course that comics is not man. So I've been getting more into that. And then my vision is is is, is her. She's laying and she's all wearing all red and she's in this water and it's like she has this wax and like layer of wax all over her and i've been trying to scrub it out and in the beginning of the meditation she wasn't really moving but as the meditation moved on she was actually able to stand up and get out of the pool that out of the water or whatever like y'all like like i couldn't even really get into my ex like that like i mean he had been he had been in the visions in the meditations before but this time i was just like you know, I'm just like, it was just me and my little girl, my daddy and my man. Like, I wasn't really even on him because I really am forgetting who that is. Like, I'm going to forget everything about that experience. I'm going to forget what I thought was the love. I'm going to forget what I thought was the bad shit. Only thing I want is the shit left over, which was the beautiful lessons, the beautiful protection, the beautiful guidance, the beautiful knowledge that I have now. That's all I am thinking. That's all I want to remember of that. I just, I don't want to remember him. I don't even remember what, well, who is that? I genuinely want to be like, oh, 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 that nigga. That is really what I'm going to, to completely cord cut. Because doing that, and disassociating from my daddy issues in a destructive way. So the daddy stuff, I'm really healing that. That's like, whatever my dad had going on, which made him 
do or not do, whatever caused me to have what I perceived as a traumatic experience, literally had nothing to do with me and has nothing to do with my creative ability to get the fuck I want. Like, I, I, I'm not going to allow that to take my power anymore. Nobody's going to take my power again. And I almost feel like as long as I have that meditation, my nigga, like, I feel invincible. Like, it's like nothing that can, like, come up in my life. Nothing I can't go inside and address. And it's been days I've been crying during that meditation. But today wasn't one of them days. Today was a day of, like, and it's just so amazing once you get deep into meditation. Like, once you get deep into it, it's like, you, like, it's like, you're, you're, you're literally another dimension of something and like sometimes and and, you know you can't always control your movements like one of the things that happens to me whenever i meditate is like my head will start doing shit that i can't duplicate like it'll start doing like we're not and shit like that and then like sometimes like within this meditation as i said before it has times we're supposed to speak like say things within the meditation and i the last two days i couldn't utter the words because it's just this deepness and it's just oh i i just if I could just live in that motherfucking meditation, like, that would be great. Like, oh, my God, y'all. So, look, I- I'm going to go into detail about these men that I met, right? So, I met them both on dating apps. And and this, I didn't even get to the other ones, like, on me in the dating apps. These are just the two I actually started having conversation with on WhatsApp. And it's just like, they both look good. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, I don't, I don't deal with that ugly. They both look good. You know what I'm saying? One of them is living in Paris, has his fashion thing he got going on. And he, you know, is like, poly, he's self-aware. He say he, you know, he, he, he has a fetish of watching his woman fuck other men. Oh my God, that's my man. Oh my God. It's like I'm remembering. I've just been in this little bitty clothes. Like, oh, 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 just so they can get. No. Feeling me on this, on a lot of shit. Like, he's very vulnerable. He's very transparent. And I'm very, I was very vulnerable. I was very transparent. And we were just like clicking on fucking everything. It was, it's just amazing. Like, I said, hey, look, you know, there's reasons why the traditional dude, why an average dude wouldn't want me, which doesn't bother me because this, you know, average nigga, I don't want them. So it really works out okay. It's no such thing as like rejection. Like, it's so bad. And he's like, wow. I was like, well, I did only fans. I sold sex tapes. I'm the queen of orgies. I like non monogamy, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, Angela, I'm okay with all that shit. Like, you know, and he started explaining why he's okay with all that. And that he's a nudist too. And that, you know, he wanted to do an only fans too, but he's an actor. So he couldn't figure out how to do it. Like, all that shit's like, those are the kind of men I love. And then the other one, you know, nigga, it's wild as fuck. You do all kind of wild shit. In uh in the states, and you know he had two girlfriends at one time, and he, you know, he's just like he's a night owl, just like me. He's just like, oh my god, like, and I actually got horny for real. Like my, I was just turned on because the conversation turned sexual with both of the men, and I'm just like, oh. And I was excited. I felt comfortable both of them to get sexual on the first time I was talking. Like, oh, oh my god, and then y'all, oh my god, it's two big pieces that come out of. The, both of these dudes okay so new orleans nigga he's not even from, he's not indian in it like quite literally so like you know the, the native american kind of indian not the fucking uh indian indians <sighs> we'll call him choctaw choctaw that's what we call him because he's, he's he literally the nigga looks definitely mixed with much shit he oh my god he uh we was talking 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 and really connecting on a bunch of different shit we was just agreeing with each other about a bunch of shit and he was like uh you know i i, I go back and forth from new orleans to houston but i get on anything smoking for you i was like literally in my meditation yesterday i imagined men coming to see me i'm gonna be in a whack-ass town you know my, my mama lives in a whack-ass town i'm gonna be in a whack-ass town and i'm gonna need niggas i'm not gonna have a car <laughs> because my car is in atlanta and, you know, I, I mean, I can run errands in my mama's car, but I can't just take my mama's car for days at a time to go see niggas. But who's doing that? Uh, men are going to come to see me where I am. And that's what he said. And I love that. And then also another thing from the, from the, from the uh, American nigga living in Paris. He was like, uh, you know, when you come to Paris, you can, you can really just stay here and save some money. Um, you know, if you stay here, save some money for, you know, a few days or whatever. I love that. You know what I'm saying? And I love that he just opened the space to me. He's like, now you got the vibes. Like, you good. So he was, I lay sick and I want to get this other procedure that's going to, like, kill all the fat cells in my stomach. will never be big again. And then I want to go my ass to Paris. 
my nigga Paris is gonna I feel like my life is gonna be a whole new life in Paris. I love to have a cool ass dude, a plug. I also got homegirl in the Netherlands. So like I wanna collect and I got somebody in Germany too that I'm cool with. I am really collecting my European people and I'm gonna stay in places for free. And I'm and, and I'm gonna contribute, you know. I, I did notice that I was like, okay, I'll cook for you or whatever. But that's just really the kind of house guest that I am. Part of it could have been a little pick me ish, but at the same time, even if me and him are not fucking, like, that's just how I am. If you ask anybody who I've been a house guest to, I try to overextend because I'm so grateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I stay with plenty of people and I cook. You know, I'm not gonna do no cleaning, but I definitely, I'm clean about myself. I'm not gonna be cleaning the house and shit, but I will cook and do shit because, like, oh my God, you. I know how I like to be treated. If I let you stay in my house for free, I love it when you show how you appreciate it. Yes, cook, mop, do something. I love that. You know what I'm saying? So I am always like that. So what they mean, what they mean is do the fucking island will be that way. So um, he seemed dope as fuck, very self-aware. So I know I keep going back and forth between the men, but it's like, oh my God, it's like the floodgates of men are opening. Like I can't tell you the last time I had niggas, I think I'm really interested in on my phone. It's been... Nigga, I really want, I'm really excited about, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It has not been since I've been to Cape Town. My ex don't count. He was just disappointment. Um, uh, And, he, like, for real, it's been months, like, since I've been excited. Outside of Divine, when Divine called me, I'm excited and giddy. Other than that, these two men have been, like, I'm excited to hear from these niggas. I love that. So, uh, American French nigga, he was just telling me how he, um, uh, he, you know, sometimes he can he can be MIA because he gets uh gets into he be need his alone time. So sometimes like he, you know, he may be a few days and he may disappear, but he'll he'll come back. You know what? I love the honesty. I can't even be mad at that. So I am like excited to see where these things go. I love how quickly because at the end of every meditation you ask for a sign that of that that you've been heard, that this is working. And like it is, and like with the number one, fuck all. Even if I never met them niggas, I am feeling like myself. I am feeling happy. Y'all, can y'all tell that I'm feeling more like my goddamn self? Like I'm, 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 I'm coming out dry and shit. Fuck all that. So like I'm really like happy with life. Like, and I'm focusing more on my money and shit now. Cause I, I just didn't have space, honestly. I mean, I will do what needs to be done for my business. Okay, answer emails, answer questions. But as far as real energy. I simply didn't have it. I was too involved in other stuff. I'm working on mastering being in a crazy emotional state and being this highly productive person. People who do it, kudos to you. I don't have it yet. And fortunately, I've been able to do just fine without having it together. But we we going to be doing a lot more. I was imagining more and more money coming in. I was imagining me walking down the streets of fucking paris and all of the men are offering flowers because they just they come so beautiful and they want to love me and there's money waiting from the sky there's literally everything i have the perfect fucking mind the perfect health that is what i'm like really manifest so y'all i'm feeling great it's gonna be more details on all of this shit coming but i want to let you know that when you put in the work you can single-handedly and I'm not going to say single-handedly because I have a support system. Yes, I have people who help me. I have therapists. I have my friends. I have my sisters. I have people that I talk to, confide in, to really help me to get it together. But at the end of the day, it's not them waking up doing these meditations every day. It's not them going inside of my own psyche, my own emotional state, my own vibration, and healing and healing and healing. It hadn't been them crying and fighting every single day for happiness. That's something only I can do. I appreciate the support. But y'all... All the external support in the world is not going to do the work for you. I understand that. I've always understood it. You know what I'm saying? They can help you. They can give you tidbits. They can lift you. You can have a therapist for 15 years straight. Talk to them every day. But if you are not doing it, no, nigga, I've been doing it. I've been, don't nothing, ain't nothing going to keep me from doing that meditation. I don't give a fuck what's going on. I got up today, got me a smoothie, came back. I did my meditation and I'm going to, I, I, I'm going to keep this in near and dear to my heart because I have to, I care. I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to fall into the trap. Oh, I feel good and now I can stop. No, nope. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. I'm committing to a month of doing this meditation every single day. Yep. And what I love about it is that I can do it on the airplane when I'm traveling back home. So look, man. I'm happy. I'm expecting money, more joy, more men, everything today. 
you know what I'm saying? I, and I'm just excited. So y'all, that's the video diet for the day. Uh, I'm going to, y'all know I like to break down all the characteristics of every dude and write down what I do and don't, what I do like and then what I want to add on to the experience. So I'll do that in the next video or some new videos coming up. But if you fighting for half and it's right now, just watch the video diaries. That's all I got. I love y'all so much. Talk to y'all soon. Hi. Yeah.